featured speaker is known for her unique gift of helping purpose-driven visionaries, creatives, and pioneering entrepreneurs break through their biggest blind spots to create work that feels like play. As the creator of Genius Playground and the revolutionary quantum play method of personal transformation, she is an alignment expert and pioneer in the field of applied neurophysiology. Please welcome the genius whisperer, Anne Rose Hart. Thank you. you ready to feel awesome, Harvard? Yeah. Yeah. All right. What makes you awesome? Do you even know what makes you awesome? Do you ask that question? Knowing what makes you awesome is the key for you to create not just success, but joyful success, to live in alignment with your highest possibilities, to create the work that feels like play. I've been obsessed with this question for the last 10 years. I've discovered a few key principles I'm gonna share with you today, but first, a quick story. Well, it's 2010, I'm sitting on the sofa, nursing my one-year-old son. I should be happy, I should be content but I'm scared, I'm terrified. My marriage has just ended. I didn't wanna be a single mom, but here I am, and I gotta figure out how am I gonna support myself and my son. Conventional wisdom would say, go get a job, you know? I got a master's degree in history, I was in a doctorate program at the time, go get a job. But my heart said, no, there's something else for you to be and do. I didn't know what that was, but some part of me couldn't just put my son in daycare, just pay the bills and go on that hamster wheel. I had to find out what my heart was saying. But in that moment, I made a decision. I decided I need to live this experiment to see what happens when I follow my heart. What happens when I trust the invisible? This journey has led me on amazing adventures, leading now joy tours and retreats all around the world, coaching and serving clients in more than 15 countries, developing a modality that I call quantum play, using playful movement and intuition to align with what makes you awesome. And now, standing here at the Business Experts Forum at the Harvard Faculty Club, Woo! my honor and privilege to be here with you today. So in my blessing current chapter of my life in which I'm getting to work with visionaries, revolutionary leaders, people who are revolutionizing their industries, pioneers in their fields, innovators and leading edge creators. And I found a couple of principles that I wanna share with you today. Number one, to be awesome, you must have a soul-stirring mission. It's got to be a compelling vision that moves you and drives you and pulls you forward. It's got to have three elements, the three C's. Contribution, massive contribution. It's got to be using your creative talents to your highest level. It's got to be building community. If you don't have a soul-stirring mission, Either you're not asking what that is, or you don't believe it's possible for you. Number two, you've got to know your strength and your unique genius. This is your note in the symphony of life. We all have one. It is unique to you. You must know what it is, and you've got to have a mentor who can help mirror it back to you, because guess what? Your genius is something that's so easy for you, you're taking it for granted. You're not even valuing it. So you've got to be willing to stay in your zone of genius and say to no to everything else. Number three, you've got to commit to a life fully experienced, fully examined. This means examining your thoughts, your perceptions, your assumptions, your beliefs. It means committing to create daily habits of awesomeness that help you be your best. And it means committing to go all the way to discover what makes you awesome. Number four, you've got to remember how to play. 
doing business is the best game in the world if you know how to play it, right? Thing is, for us thought leaders, we tend to be analytical in our heads and we forget to play and make it fun. So with that in mind, I've created an exercise for us. You will see on your chair what is typically known as a stress ball, right? We're gonna reframe and rename these the balls of awesomeness today. And I'm gonna invite you to stand up and play with me for just a moment. Everybody stand up, please. I'm gonna draw an imaginary line down the middle. Okay, I'm going to have you turn and face each other, two groups looking at each other. On the count of three, I'm going to have you pick out somebody on the other side of the room who looks like they could use a little bit more awesomeness. All right? On the count of three, you're going to throw the awesomeness ball at them. It's like a snowball fight, but this is the ambush of awesomeness. All right? When you get a ball, throw it back. Okay, are we ready? One, two, three. All right, please take your seats. Everyone, take your seat, please. Thank you. My name is Professor Marion Happy Pants. I am the world's leading expert on joy. Now, my colleague, Miss Hart, handles the emotional intelligence and playfulness part of our business. I, to be quite frank, am the brains of this operation. Those of us with highly developed cognitive capacities, you know, mine is so intense, it makes my hair curl. <laughs> we tend to think and depend on our logic and reason for our success, do we not? So it is imperative that we remember to bring joy to our work, to our mission. And it is imperative that we choose impossible challenges, missions that are bigger than we are, because everybody in this room is brilliant and has a huge heart. And if you are not playing at your highest level with an impossible challenge that will go on after you die, you'll probably get bored and complacent, and you're probably not thinking big enough. So I beseech you to go forth and do more of what makes you awesome. Take the risk. Get out of your comfort zone, and by all means, remember to play. <laughs>